Hi guys, welcome back to a new video of mine. And today, I've just got back, literally about half an hour ago, actually about an hour ago, in fact, from painting again. I managed to bring you a tutorial for all day. What can I bring? It's going to be a Sony Vegas tutorial. I might not have brought a little of these, but you know, people want to. If people want to record, they want to know how to do these. So we're going to quickly get in, and I'm going to play. Um, a few um, this intro somewhere. I have an intro here. This one. Okay, that's the intro. If you want to do something like that, this is how you do it. You insert three new video tracks. Yes, three. Choose the bottom one. Go to Media Generators down here. Solid color. Um, the easiest way to make it stand out is to go black and place it on there. Just press X on that. Um, scroll this out so you can see the 10 mark. Get it to 10. On the middle one, um, you want to go up here, go to. I don't know where it is. One second. Sorry about the little pause there. And I'm basically back now. I just had to get a drink. Sort some stuff out. So, the one you saw in my intro was the elliptical ring. We're going to go with that. You drag it down. It should automatically be 10 seconds. Because your background is 10. To choose the colour, you go. You got 1, 2, 3 here. You choose number 2. And let's say I want to make it sort of like darker shade of blue. Here's the number, 78, 173, 255, 255, if you want to go with me. And then you basically just close that. You ro oh. I ignore this part. Okay. So then you right click on the top one, insert text media. It's going to come up. Oops, is it easy? I want to change my text to Pulp Fiction. And I'm just going to type in um, YouTube. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Batman. I'll turn it. You see, YouTube placement. I, I'm just gonna place it a little tiny bit higher than usual. Um, you basically sort of want the same sort of color to make it stand out a bit more. Effects, draw an outline. I'm going to change the outline color to white. And I'm just literally just going to do it about there. 0 0.3, 0 0.54. And close that down. Now, you obviously want both of them to move. You come down to the second um, video track, compositing mode, 3D source alpha. Then you go to uh, no, you don't get to generate in media. Then you go to track motion over here on the second track. And we're just going to make this as big as we possibly can. And you can close all of them down. Except for rotation, I believe. Let me just test. Yes, okay. So, to start with, as you can see... If we change this to six, change Y, that's the only one you need to change Y. If we change it to 65, it starts around there. Which is good. And now, you might think, well, how'd you get to change them? You see this little dome down here, you hit control and drag it slightly. No, you, um, you don't, you just click on it and then you hit control and drag it slightly. And then if you change it to 60, and then you hit control and drag it slightly. And then you can change it to 55. If you want it to go quicker, you can change it um, so it's basically. Uh, you can change the numbers that you're entering in. So if I wanted it to go quicker, I could type 40 and it'd like switch down. But I want to go with 50 there. And then here I want to go 45. Here I want to go 40. And so on. I'll come back to you when it's done. Actually, no one. I'll let I'll let you watch this because it's quite good. Thirty-five. Um. See, so yeah, as you can see, it ends there. 
so basically now if you watch this you can see it's slowly turning if you want it to go a bit quicker you do change the numbers so like you go 50, 40 instead of 5's you go 10's or maybe 20's so that's that and you might think well how does the text turn you do the exact same with the text compositing mode 3D source alpha track motion then you but you want to do minus here so you go minus 65 so the text changes the opposite way to the um, elliptical ring so now you click down on here and you drag it out and then you go minus 60 minus 55 um, if you can hear rain in the background that's because it's raining in fact give me a second I'll shut my window okay um, my window was shut but my top one wasn't so I've shut it so it should drain out some of the noise. Now if we change this to minus 50. Oop, so easy. Minus foot 5. Sorry about you having to watch all this. Minus 40. Minus 35. Minus 30. Where are we on, where are we on the track? We've sort of ended, okay. Now let's say I want it to end there. If we, let me play it. You can see that it turns slowly. If you want to add music, um, I'm not going to add music. Um, I'll add my voice. You insert an audio. Well, you'd find your music um, in say music, find your piece, and you drag it in and get the bit you want out. Um, so let's just insert an audio track down here, and I'll hit record. This. Is a tester video. Dad, I cut this part out. One sec. So, guys, um, sorry about that again. So now we've got uh three clips and our uh, um, what's it called? You won't be able to hear what I'm playing now, but basically. Now let's say you find the part that you want in your video out of the audio. You have to make sure it's ticked. You go to that and then you press S. I don't want that. Um, I press S. I don't want that. S on your keyboard when you've clicked in like the position it um, splits it. Now let's say I want to maybe slow this down. I hold control and drag it out. Um, obviously you didn't hear that, but it was like instead of test the video. So um, there's our little clip, and then we hit file, render as, we render it. Um, using our template that we used in our rendering settings. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. It's in the same playlist as this one. And then you hit save, obviously, and then it starts rendering. Thanks guys for watching, um, basically I'll cut it at the end of this because it showed Skype. So once you've rendered, then you just um, you put it in back in Skype and it does, um, put it at the beginning of your video clip, of your gameplay commentary, and then it all, and then render that, and then your intro is at the beginning of your video. Thanks for watching, bye. Please subscribe to my channel.